Hi there, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. So this is what I have been up to this week. Um, you'll see the videos next week. I've been working with the <clears throat> beautiful winter kit from Artie Mays and I've made four pouches. Made them from the Amazon packaging. They are, I think they're just over nine. So nine and a quarter by just just over seven that's inches so i'll show you the back and then i can show you what <coughs> i've done with them so i've totally gessoed over them um i've then gone over it with some uh, acrylic paint which is like a pearlized uh a pearl paint and it's ice blue um and that's that's a Doe Crafts paint. Um, I have then stamped with my Mementos ink in the Danaboo Blue. Uh, and that was just a, a script stamp. Um, it's just a, a cheap one from um, eBay, which I've had, well, I've had it a couple of years now um i've then put some glitter on and you can see the silvery one that's called unicorn and then the blue you can see a blue one and that's called midnight and they're both um the the stickles ones so they've got a pocket at the back with three journal cards in and then they've got this lace at the front, this lovely little bauble dangle, what I've done, a cluster on that can be taken off. It's just tied with some ribbon and I've got this lovely lace panel down here with a card. There's some lace across the top which comes over the flap. There's just an eyelet in here um, for the ribbon and then just a bit of uh, lace there. So we've got this lovely squirrel one. Oh, obviously I've decoupaged um, a napkin on. And it's two different napkins. I'll show you. Um, well, there's four different napkins, but there's two different on, on each one. So that's the squirrel one. And we've got the stag one. And this one has been sold already. Um, I have been doing daily videos on my Patreon site and i have opened the patreon up for the month of december for non-members so i've been putting pictures up of my christmas tree and i'll put you know a picture up on christmas day and things like that and i've also been doing a bit of a daily vlog type thing um i've didn't organise myself to do an actual December daily in journal form so I thought I'd do a speaking one so it's more up to date of you know what I'm doing that actual day so um, I did offer these on, on Patreon first so we've got the owl one and we've got the stag one so you can see all the trees here that's the same napkin i used on the autumn um gosh woodland wonders and i if you remember i covered them over with um that glaze that i made from uh siobhan's video uh, so they came out all oh, brown and grungy but i've just left them black and white so i've ripped the image of the the napkin out and then i've gone all around it with with the trees so we'll take a deep dive into to this one so at the back we've got this pocket and just got three journal cards like so they fit in there and then I've put coordinating ribbon on to the baubles. Some of them have got navy baubles, so they've got navy ribbon. And then there's a big journal card at the front. So you can see all the trees in that 
through <coughs> excuse me through through the lace so that's that I've added all glitter and you can see the script and things underneath i'm really happy with with how they've turned out it's the first time i've done them um i have learned a few things doing them and i would definitely include these in the um botanical series because i think they'd be quite a fun thing to do um in that series so this is what's in the in the pouch let's just put that there trying to get his get his all in uh film let me sit down now <clears throat> so first we've got these lovely shaker tags um i had a lot of fun making these and you'll see the video next week it did go a little bit wrong but um did manage to to rectify it and i'm really happy with how they've turned out um violet had done me some circles and they've got like the faux stitching around and then she just circle cut out of the middle and then there was a whole circle so all i did was you know stick the front to the back and it's got some acetate in picture from the Artemis kit and then I put some lovely glitter in and then finished the front off with this die cut some stamping round with the same um Danaboo blue ink and then I've just finished it off with this lovely um oh I forget what it's called I want to call it fluffy wool um mm, yeah eyelash trim and that's from uh Julie's shop who's Camilla crafts i will leave her link down below so that's uh the shaker tag then we've got this little vellum notebook just put some wrapping paper there and stuck a piece um from the kit and it opens that way and we've just got some some white paper so there's 20 sides in that and shall we just get the measure and that is four and a half by three and a half. Uh, is that three and a quarter? Three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters. So I thought it made him a bit different having him landscape rather than portrait. So that's that. Not put anything at the back. Um, you could cut that side and, and put something in if if you wanted to. But um, yeah, I just left them ones quite quite plain so that's that and then we did some stenciling again with the Danaboo ink and uh, I think that's the Tim Holtz stencil this is a lovely silhouette die that Violet's done for me again we've got a sprinkle of glitter on it and inside there is a journal card it's got a little circle decoration there with a, another tag inside and then we've just put a little sticker and that backing paper is from the shabby blue um kit which is from my porch prints so that goes in there all the sets have the same items in they've obviously just got you know different bits of of the kit so that's that um, next we have got just a silhouette of, of a tree uh, on a plain tag. It's got the faux stitching around it and then I've just finished that off again with some uh, eyelash trim from Julie's shop. So that is that. So I'll pop that there. Then we've got another tag which again was the stenciling. Um, this is another Tim Holtz stencil. Um, you'll see it in the video. I do show it you. It was a new one. Um, and Because I, I hadn't got any snowflake stamps or stencils. <laughs> and I thought, instead of, you know, buying one what I'm only going to use once a year, I went for this one. And it kind of reminded me of, of snowflake type things. So I've just put a bit of silver leaf trim there. Some die cuts and a tab from the kit. I've left most of the um, tags white at the back. Everything has been 
a distressed all around the sides and I have used them another memento ink and it is London Fog. Um, I've put the inks in my um, Amazon affiliate link so if you, even if you're not from this country and you can't buy from that link you can still go you know copy and paste the the title kind of thing so that's that and then we've got um a cd envelope <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> and this is um some stamps what the lovely um carol sent me they're like a damask kind of stamp so i stamped around the edge with that put some silhouette dies in the back this is beautiful oh dears um some christmas trees and sprinkle some glitter on and then we've got a lovely bow at the top to finish it off i've stuck some writing space at the back and the thought was to have it as a, a flip out so you would just attach that and have it as a flip out um and then inside there is a journal card which i have sewn around and it's back just with white card and that's a kit page from the artemis kit and i've stamped that bit as well because that's the bit that you will see so that's that one and then we've got a jumbo card again it's all got sprinkles of glitter on and i've sewn around it this is actually um probably a third of an actual kit page so i've just cut it cut it down and then again it's been backed with a 200 gsm card so that's that one and finally we've got this lovely notebook and it's made with the same envelopes as i made the envelope folio using the uh, midnight design kit uh, what you'll be watching this week so beautiful um navy blue really deep color um so i've done some lovely collage with some grid paper, some wrapping paper, some tissue paper and a doily and I've made some clusters um, and I've sewn these ones, I've not um, stuck them together like I did, um, I think you'll see that this week. So that's that, this is kind of an A6 uh, size so it is four and a half by uh, nearly six and a half so there's 40 sides of white paper in here um i did it that the um envelope flap was at the bottom so i just made a little kind of tuck pocket a piece of kit paper and just a little banner there um i've put some little stickers throughout i think there's four or five in it um so I've just left it plain. The pages are different sizes just to give it a little bit of interest. And then at the back, we've got another pocket with a large tag and this lovely ribbon from Ali the Cockney Crafter, what she sent me, and the eyelash trim from Julie's shop. And then we've got this snowflake trim there. So that's that really nice... Um, size in your hands that is so let's see how many pieces we've got because i've not counted them up and i'm gonna do the listing in a minute so that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seven eighteen eighteen pieces and and the pouch so I am going to upload this video now um, as soon as it's uploaded within about an hour I shall put these onto Etsy and like I say the stag one um, has already been been sold um, 
so that's that one so there'll be the house one i'll i'm going to do it as one listing and then there'll be a drop down menu inside the listing so this one will be house owl and squirrel so thank you very much for joining me i hope you're having a good week and say so i went back to work yesterday it was lovely catching up with everybody and a bit tired today legs are sore but that's to be to be expected and i'll be back to work tomorrow but then i'm off for a week because i've got annual leave um so yeah it'll be just like visiting work this week um yeah pop over to patreon have a look round um join in with me um on the daily videos if you do come over it'd be lovely if you left a comment or um a like so i know that you've been over um yeah i'm enjoying doing it and that might be something that i do in the future that <clears throat> not every single day obviously but um it'd be nice to do like a once a week um little segments of of each day now i can join videos together so um yeah so see you soon bye for now